Hey, YouTube Pop House. We are on our back porch smoking. We have a special guest today. Calendar here. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Calendar sitting with us in our wing backs. We have another wing back. I'm sure you guys saw it on maybe Instagram. Maybe I posted it on on YouTube. I'm not sure. But got another wing back. He's kicking back, sharing a pipe with us and some stories. <laughs> Rachel is smoking her. her uh, my super new Eric Gainey pipe. Oh, you can see it good today. I got the sun sun's up. right yeah. in the right spot. Look at that. In it, I have some Sutliff uh, Bacchanalia I'm trying Bacca out. What? Bacchanalia? 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 Bacchanala? Oh, too many eyes. Bacchayaya? Something from Sutliff. Um, so, I'm trying that out today. Some, something. Something from Sutliff. Hey, the top's turning like a different color. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of cool. It is cool. I am smoking my Nirup with some uh, Delta Mojo. Which is not wife approved. Which makes it extra husband approved. I didn't realize it had a... Has the logo in Europe. Has a stamp. <laughs> no, I never really looked at that pipe that close. Ooh. Number three? That's mm -hmm. a three group. And Les is smoking his Beans 316 working man's pipe. Oh shit. We'll show you guys. See you. We'll present his pipe for him. And what are you smoking in there, Les? Uh, smoking some fire dance flake, courtesy of Nate. <laughs> some fire dance flake. It's just a pretty nice flake. It's a slightly aromatic flake. They case it with a uh, something. I'm not really sure, but it's a it's a good Virginia that's cased with something. It's pretty good. I liked it. Has a good room note. Tastes good. Tastes good. We're enjoying this Sunday afternoon. The weather's really nice. Oh, I was going to grab my phone and tell you the exact weather conditions, but we're taping it. The exact mind. weather conditions are sunny and mild. <laughs> That's vague. Sunny and mild today. It's in the 60s. Warm enough for t shirt. Nice and sunny. Yeah, we're rocking our Eric Ganey shirts. Les treated us to uh, some Greek food, and uh, we walked in, Rachel and I, and uh, everybody was staring at us. And we're like, "What? What is this? What is this?" Logo? Oh, oh, it's seventy. It's seventy degrees right now. Seventy degrees. For all you that are freezing their balls off in the northern in, hemisphere. In bunkfuck, hey, Wisconsin. Easy now. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> it's a family channel. It's not a family channel. <laughs> yeah, it's seventy degrees here. Nice and cool. Actually, it's pretty warm. For yeah, I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little hot. Might have to turn the AC on. Yeah, might have to turn the AC on <laughs> in the house today. So when we went to lunch today, um, I don't know if you've ever been anywhere and people are wearing the same T-shirts and you try to look and see what it is that's on their t shirt So people were trying to look at our shirts and figure out what the heck was on it. <laughs> Nathan is oblivious. I always notice when people are like openly staring at us. I typically don't care what other people think about what I'm wearing, so. I was like. I guess that's a woman thing. It is a woman thing. We need to know who's looking at us. So, the main reason for this video is Rachel. Oh, it's contest reminder day. Today's the 12th, my contest ends on the 15th. You need to go back and look at my top 10 video. That is also my contest video, so just give that a watch. Comment in the bucket. Would you like to see? What would you like to see more of from us? Um, it ends midnight Central Time on the fifteenth. Probably won't do the drawing till the weekend, so don't uh, think I didn't do the drawing yet. I just and we haven't decided how crazy. we're going to do the drawing. Yeah, we kind of have to think about. We'll that. We'll think about maybe just a little random reverse draw or something. I probably won't do anything elaborate like our last uh, winning arrow draw. I don't know. We might think of something fun. Although I think next weekend, no, the weekend after that, we're going to go to my dad's house and do some shooting, shoot some guns and stuff. So Yeah, but I'm a pretty good shot, late. so I can't usually use that for a... What about a shotgun? See, see which one has the most holes in it? <laughs> Count the holes. Count the holes. <laughs> Some bird shot. No. Who are you barking at? 
Our puppies are uh, keeping us safe. From all the wildcats. From all the cats. Just. Who are you barking at? So. <laughs> Rachel, <laughs> Rachel just did a bunch of Sutliff reviews. She'll post those. Yeah. I did a couple. And then I'll, uh, might do a couple more during the week. I we want to a, do some McBaron reviews, too. We took a tour around the neighborhood. Les used to live in this neighborhood. And uh, we relived his childhood. I <laughs> relived my childhood. I'm the one that grew up and, out uh, here. And Rachel. <laughs> I guess not Les's childhood. Rachel's childhood. <laughs> Les's kid's childhood. Yeah. I guess he lived here when his kids were little. No, like, well, before they were. Too like, just across our street in their backyard is where his backyard was. Well, not too far from, so really close to where we live now so so I'm still enamored by my pipe I just keep looking at it and forgetting to smoke it because it's awesome I think I plan on doing a, uh, a refurb video coming up pretty soon um, I know um, who was asking um, Big Trappy was asking oh Big Trappy that's right he was asking for if, if I knew a good Refer video. I think I'll slash clean in your pipes. Cleaning pipes and... video, which uh, Les brought me a pipe to clean up, and I'm going to, from beginning to end, I'll probably make a video if I have time. Today I am drinking Diet Big Red. Red Pop. Red Pop. When I was a kid, my grandma called it Red Pop. You want a Red Pop? And so um, it was like a special treat, and we went to the store. Um, we went to eat dinner at my cousin's house last night. And on the way back, they have a new supermarket out there, and we stopped, and they had Diet Red Pop. I, like, oh, I need this. Diet Big Red. So I'm drinking it today. And I am drinking. <laughs> I am drinking a beer. My dog just jumped up in Calendar's lap, and he's about to get some kisses. He's being, he's being assaulted. I'm drinking a beer, a really nice uh, vintage beer with uh, aged vanilla. <laughs> Silly dog. Come here. Goes quite nice with the with Delta Mojo. Mm -hmm. We had a real bad storm here the other night. I found out that my dog can jump onto my bed because I woke up when she landed on me. It was thunder and lightning. And both the dogs were terrified. I finally got her off the bed and she slept under my nightstand. <laughs> so, Les. How's the uh, fire dance going for you? I'm enjoying it. It's really good. Oh, you need flavor to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really subtle flavor. Barely, barely there, but you know there's something there. Yeah, it's, yeah. you know it's not an all Virginia or a vapor flavor. Right, right. You can pick it up. But it does come a little moist, so kind of have to rub it out, let it dry a little bit to get a good smoke from it. Or relight a lot. Well, all right. That's all we had for you. Yep, just a reminder. So if you're going to enter, get your entries in. And um, I'll Wanna do get... that. I'll probably do that drawing on the seventh, the night of the 17th or the morning of the 18th. So, so be We wanted to get the it. mysterious lesson. Since he came to videos. visit us today. Every time he comes over, we want to put him in a video. But we always get so busy talking and smoking that we never actually get around to uh, setting up the camera and taking videos. So. But I was already doing reviews today, so the camera stuff was already set up. So, oh. so here we are. Yeah. <laughs> One day, maybe I'll get on that side. <laughs> I think it's fun that you guys can't see him and we can. Ha ha ha. <laughs> yeah, we're special. Mm -hmm. We're very special. Yeah, you're special, like short bus special. We do own a short bus. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you guys a story because it's so funny. I was at work the other day and somebody was talking about something, having big cars or something. And one of the girls was like, oh, yeah, I meant to tell you guys. My husband called me when he was driving home the other day. He said, Lori, I wish you could see this. There is this huge green van. And on the back, there's a man and a woman and six kids and a dog. You know, those little stick figures? <laughs> yeah. And he go, and she's telling this story, and I'm dying laughing the whole time she's telling it. 
And she goes, yeah, he said something about, do they know about birth control and all this stuff? And I was like... They need to work that problem out. I was like, um, Lori, that's my van. That was probably my husband. <laughs> Your husband was behind on the road. <laughs> and she's like, are you serious? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and so I, I like pull up the van on my phone and I'm like, see, and it's got like all my kids in it. And um, My motorcycle's been in my, uh, in my garage and he's a new starter, so I've been... Plus, it's been the... freaking cold. I think what? even if the motorcycle what? had yeah, a Usually, starter. I drive in the cold anyway. As long as it's not raining, I usually ride. But, um, so it's been in in the garage so he's waiting been, on a starter. He's been driving the bus. <clears throat> been driving the bus. But, um, it was pretty funny because she thought it was hilarious that somebody on earth owned this huge van and had a... Does it make you extra special when you drive the short bus? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so... She was like, you know, I knew you had that many kids, but it didn't really occur to me. I said, yeah, yeah, that's us. Big green bus. Yep. So if you're ever driving around Baton Rouge and you see a van with a whole bunch of stick figure people on the back. Don't judge. Don't judge. It's us. And yeah. we have worked out the problem. Yeah, that's why there's not more than six stick <laughs> figures on the back. <laughs> mm. Six is plenty, thanks. Well, we're at 20 minutes right now. Are you serious? But we just, we talked a lot before this, so. Yeah, that's true. We're going to stop here. All right, people, pipe smoking's like mud wrestling. It's kind of nasty, but it's lots of fun. Fair winds, following seas, until we meet again. And. Nanu, nanu. Nanu, nanu. <laughs> All right. Bye. Dude. Bye. Behind it's the scenes, how was that, Les? That was pretty nice. Now, you can remotely cut it off? I'll cut it off. Yeah, it's still running. It's still running. Oh, okay. He likes to leave it running and then... This is y'all's uh, outtakes. Yeah. The or the beginning or I like that. whatever. I do have a question, though. What? Which one of the pooches is left out? Oh, uh, the we got the chocolate along after oh, okay. we got the van. there's only one pooch on the back of the van. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, Chaco, we weren't sure she's going to live. She had heart work really, really bad when yeah. we got her. And they they weren't sure if she was. And she was coughing a lot, coughing up blood, and so we didn't want to put the. <laughs> well, I think we need to drive to get her picture on the van. <laughs> I wonder what happened to the rest of those stickers. We have them somewhere. Yeah, we it had another, like six we have dogs in there. Somewhere. Yeah, she um was a rescue dog. When we got her, she was skin and bones, like awful. Yeah, she had not only could see her ribs, but her ribs were sunken in too. And then she didn't have hardly any hair. All her hair was falling out. So she's doing good. She got fat. In fact, one time I brought her, they fussed at me because she was too heavy. <laughs> I said, well, she's come a long way then. <laughs> she's getting fat. Well, we learned. We thought she was an inside dog, but she's not. <laughs> yep, she was never house trained. So she stayed outside. But she's happier out here. But I have her kennel in there, and her kennel is inside the little uh, swing set. There's a little thing in there. Mm -hmm. I surrounded her kennel with hay. Mm -hmm. So it's a big old hay tunnel with the kennel on the inside, so it's really warm in there. So that's where she stays at night. But Unless it's really, really cold, then she comes yeah, inside. Yeah, then she comes in. We kennel her inside. But. Yeah, Josie's been with us a long time. That's what I was talking about. Uh, or I was talking to Nina yesterday about her dog. Jesse's kind of a rescue dog, dude. Yeah, just not as urgent, nor was she sick when we got her. A lady uh, Nate worked with had gotten married, and her husband lived in an apartment complex that didn't allow pets. Actually, he's the owner of um, a different car dealership. Yeah, I don't know. I forget which car dealership, but he owns one. So she had to get rid of her, and that's when we were first looking for a dog. So she's seven years old, eight years old, maybe now. Yeah, she was a puppy. She was a puppy when we got her. Not quite a year old. She's probably seven. Yeah.